I'm joined by uh, Luis Fernandez from Tate & Lyle, who's Senior Vice President of Global Applications. Luis, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak to us. You're welcome. Luis, um, I think Tate & Lyle needs no introduction, um, but can you tell us a little bit about your role with the company? Yeah, thank you, Nick. Uh, my name is Luis Fernandez, you said. I am leading the Global Application Team. The Global Application Team is located in different regions from Asia Pacific, Latin America, Europe, and Open States. We have three major innovation centers in Open States, in the US, in Quebec, in Germany, and Lille in France, where we develop the most innovative solution to our customers. And we have a smaller application center in the other region to go faster to customer, to deliver prototype and have a quick solution to customers. Look, tell us a little bit about some of the innovations um, you guys are working on at the moment. Well, the recent one that we launched, and I presented yesterday here in the forum, in the summit, is related to Dolcea Prima, the low calorie sugar that we launched last month. Uh, we'll be having a big introduction in the U.S. during the IFT in July, and it's uh, almost zero-calorie sugar that is uh, non-artificial, exists in nature, and we are very happy and very proud to be able to deliver to our customer already in a commercial form. Just beverages? Can go to many different categories, such as beverage, uh, can go to daily, can go to bakery, um, confectionery, so we are able to replace sugar with this uh, sugar that has no calories but can replace the bulk. Until now we had a very exciting portfolio of high intensive sweeteners but we didn't have the possibility to replace the bulk when you remove sugar. Normally sugar is used 10% uh, level and then when you put PPM, high intensive sweetener, you might have the sweet but you miss the bowl, you miss the mouthfeel. Uh, especially in solid food, you cannot replace the sugar with water or air. You have to use some other solid material, and then Dolcea Prima came to hit that space. Can you tell us a little bit about um, how Dolcea Prima um, is different to other products out there on the market already? Well, it's the Tetanai is the only producer that developed um, a unique process to have Dolcea Prima today is allulose um, and is able to uh, produce at the cost-effective way. Uh, industrial scale is produced here in the US. Um, so it is unique, it's a new product, only Ted and I produce that ingredient in industrial scale for our customers. So we are very proud, it's a breakthrough innovation and we had already a lot of reaction from our customers. Excellent. Why is it important for you guys to speak with um, innovation and R&D? You know, the best day in the life of a data analyst scientist is when one of our ingredients go to the end product from our customers. So we only succeed during the B2B business, business to business. So we can only be successful when we develop this partnership and intimacy with our customers. So the forum like this one is a great opportunity for us to have this dialogue and really create intimacy and trust and develop a project together that finally will be in an end product that we don't produce is our customers and go to the consumers. And just finally, um, I'm sure you've listened to a lot of speakers over the last say 24 hours. What's one key takeaway from perspective or or challenge it. My key takeaway is that innovation remains critical today and in the future with the 9.5 billion people that we need to feed in 2050. We cannot do that with the technology that we have today. So we need to keep innovating in food science and technology to really be able to feed the planet. And in our area, in food science and technology, there is a lot of bias. Consumers don't understand what is good for you. Um, Non-processed food, processed food, GMO, nanoscience. So there is a lot of question about what the industry is doing. So we need to really incentivize this dialogue to really put innovation top in the agenda and communicate to the consumer as well that what 
food science and doing a bit until now was critical to have the safe food that we have today in supermarket and we be even more critical now to the future. Luis, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you and kudos to the organization because this forum is always excellent in the agenda, the speakers, the attendant. I was in Ireland last time, two years ago, and the same happened here in Chicago in the US, so congratulations. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Excellent.